Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to it. This is Faked Up, and I'm Debbie. Now, November has been a really lit month. Now, I mean literally lit. We've had fires in Bari, Glenview, Kadoma. But the most important, interesting one that we heard was that there was a fire at the RBZ. Now, surely if there was a fire at the RBZ, we would have heard about it in the mainline media. But there was nothing, because that right there, that was Faked Up news. Now, really, guys are going on to send out pictures about fake fires are going across the country. Mm, little questionable from us. Now, on to some other interesting news. The Commission of Inquiries been going on and this has been going on for about a month now we've heard a lot of versions about what happened on august 1st and it's going to be very interesting to hear what comes out from that i mean we've heard about 45 degrees we heard about snipers we heard about mercenaries but what interests us most is the sniper version i mean this is them guys and hearing about snipers at the top of buildings that were shooting down people uh, interesting yeah i mean we'll leave that to you guys to decide so it's always a good time with the MDC Alliance and there's always a little bit of interesting stories going on. And what happened this week was no less interesting. So uh, Engineer Muzuri ended up going to the State House against the party's will and he was the only representative of the MDC Alliance. Now that caused a little bit of stir and you know there was the video going around and it just you know it got a, little, a lot of people talking. And then we got the message that he had been expelled from the party because of that. And we got a little bit concerned and we're like okay this is not a formal kind of thing and it got us worried and you know how far and then we later got the message that this was actually fake news and that right there is what social media is doing it's sending out fake news because apparently it didn't get fired apparently the spokesperson didn't even say anything and it was just news that had been created and spread on social media and speaking of jobs right now we're pretty interested in the interview that happened on saturday in the standard now if we listen to that interview and we watch and we read that interview and in that interview the honorable minister said that 800,000 jobs have been created in the last 12 months. Now, I don't know about you, but because I mean, 800,000 is a big number, and we think about how many people's lives would have changed with 800,000. The only jobs we know have been created are the ministers, the new perm sex, you know, those ones who got their jobs in the couple months past. Yeah, those are the new jobs, but 800,000, a mm, little bit dodgy. So we're going to say that's faked up right there. So thank you so much for joining us. This is it from us at Faked Up. Do remember that this is the 16 days of activism against GBV. So let's say no to GBV and let's not be perpetrators of GBV. That's it for me. See you next time.